they're going to break it down into retail cuts, which is fine. But I want, I want that big top round, which is the big butt muscle you see sticking up on top of the steer. Then the inside round would be the inside of the leg. Then there's that round that goes um, in between it. Bottom rounds. Let me show you the round. Here it is, right here. That's what we cook. That's what we ground up um, on Friday for the meatballs. Okay. All right. So. The only other thing that this is going to be good for is be able to get the rib out of it, the New York, as I mentioned, and then the tenderloin is going to be stuffed inside. The chuck is about all it's good for is maybe uh, uh, braised chuck or grinded. Grind is a uh, ground, you guys ever heard of the word ground chuck? No. Okay, it's, it's got about 40% fat, so it's a, good, it's a good fatty piece to work with. Short blade, is, that's where you're going to be, your short ribs would come from. The flank is waste. And the sirloin back here, um, of course, off of the loin. So always think from head to tail. From the head to the tail, it gets tougher. It starts tough, it gets more tender as it goes back. Oh, it gets tender. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be the most oh, tender. But this is... This way and everything. Right. And then the back leg here, it's going to come down. You're going to have another shank. But this would be your bosom buco, right, which is going to be braised meat. So as far as money is concerned, it goes from... Most expensive, 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 least expensive. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Where are you going to sell it? How are you going to use it? You grind it. Yeah. But what I'm getting at though is like if, if you have a restaurant, you very rarely are you going to see a walk in that's about any bigger than what we have here. So it's time and space. Where are you going to put all of this animal? And you have kegs in there, and you have all kinds of stuff. In you got there. all your, how about your produce? Yeah, your, your produce comes in on Monday, and you have a thousand pounds worth of beef hanging in there. Uh, where are you going to put your, your melons? No. Right, not with the beef. So you have to have, it's called time and space. So the space is, do I have the walk-in for it? Do I have the time to butcher it? Oh yeah, that'd be fun to butcher it. But do I have four and a half, five hours to find the chef in a restaurant to dedicate to doing this? So what's happening out in the industry now, people aren't doing uh, the beef, but they are buying whole pigs and then they're splitting the pig with the restaurant down the street where he's taking the head, he's taking the trotters, this guy's making the head cheese, this guy's taking the loin of the pig and he's making uh, pork loin, Canadian bacon, he's making the ribs out of it. It's better utilization of product. Much more utilized. Much, much more product to be utilized. Okay? So that's what you have to think about if you're going to buy that. So what we would buy here is this would be called primals, subprimals. So they, they, you would pay to have that broken out for you, and then they would just ship it to you prime back. Like those oxtails. That's the primal, if you will, of an oxtail. It wasn't cut, it wasn't portioned. It was up to us to cut and portion it. Okay? All right. So on our beef stock, I have knuckles in the sink now, right? You ran water on them? Okay. So we're defrosting them. If I have 40 pounds of beef bones, how much mirepoix do I want? 40 pounds, but how many pounds of mirepoix do we need? Maybe about 10 or 15, okay? So we're going to start out with about maybe 8 or 9 pounds of onions, right? And then 50% carrot and then 50% celery out of that? Yeah, it's like 15 more. Yeah, so this is 50% onions, 25 and 25 equal 100, right? Yeah. White peppercorns, bay leaves, thyme, bunch thyme, and a sachet, right? Okay. We can also, I think there's probably still a lot of leeks left in the walk-in, so we there's can utilize... Are they gone? There's a lot. There's okay, a lot. there's a lot. So we're going to utilize quite a bit of leeks. Let's put in about four pounds of leeks. Make sure they're washed first, okay? So you're going to be leeks, you're going to be onions, onions and onions, you're going to be carrots, you're going to be celery, you're going to do the sachet for me. Okay? You want a rough chop on the carrots? Yeah, real rough. Yeah, do, you can wash them, but you don't have to peel them. Get the dirt off of them. Cut the tins, the, the tips off. No, no, I want them. I want them rough cut. I don't want them Neanderthal cut. I want them rough cut. I've got inch piece. 